Are we ready? Um, before I start rambling, I just want to say thanks a lot to the sponsor of this video. Thanks a lot to Squarespace yet again for coming through. I will speak a little bit more about the sponsor of this video towards the end, but for now, let's get into this. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, Nutty Foodie Fitness here. Today I'm going to be recreating one of my favourite dishes at one of my favourite-ish restaurants. I say ish because Wagamama's is kind of, I wouldn't really call it a restaurant, it's the kind of place that I go to when I fancy eating something out, but not, not like out out, just kind of like chill out food. Chill out food. Basically, Wagamama's has fabulous food. Honestly, I cannot even remember the last time I ate out. It's been that long. It has literally been that long. We're going to be recreating Wagamama's katsu curry. Hope that you enjoy this video. Please just smash the like button. It's free. It really helps me out and I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you want me to continue making dishes from restaurants and this could be kind of like a series thing a series thing but not a series because I won't be uploading it in any kind of order you'll just get random nutty recreations here and there I'm not gonna bother doing the starters because like usually I kind of go for a selection of things but for now <laughs> we'll stick to the one dish however I would recommend going to Iceland and purchasing these duck pancakes as a starter Just saying, it makes for a fabulous starter. It's beautiful. I really hope you enjoy the video. Um, let's just get into this video. Okay, we have now made it into the cooking station. One sec. And yes, this is vital step number one. Wear suitable clothing, okay? Because we're gonna start cooking. It says, no pain. No champagne, which is a lie because you can have champagne whenever the heck you want to drink champagne. The recipe that we're going to be following is Gok Wan's. It's going to be very similar to what Wagamama's has released. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Let's just start cutting. <laughs> it looks like I'm about to present for BBC News. <laughs> this, this is more like that. Must be. I need like a, a paper here, like breaking news. But really we're cooking. Well, so far we haven't done any cooking, just a lot of talking. Right, go on. What do they say? I'm just gonna add the music for the news as if I'm getting my papers ready. <laughs> All right, let's cut. Basically you're gonna need some chicken, fry up the chicken, put it in an egg, Put it in breadcrumbs, fry it, have a crispy chicken, and then we just want the katsu sauce on top and a bit of rice. Basically, the key to a good katsu is a delicious sauce. So let's do it. We need a chopping board. Sunflower oil, flour, turmeric, an apple, soy sauce, honey, curry powder, breadcrumbs, rice, garlic, ginger, coconut cream. We need coconut milk. So, yeah, not too much. <laughs> we don't we really don't need, need too, too much, much guys. guys. So, uh, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's begin. They can barely see my face now. <laughs> oh, do you reckon I could pick this up? Or oh, like that. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, these are just all the ingredients that we need. Okay, time to start. And then for the chicken, obviously we need, <laughs> still not even everything. <laughs> we need to be in it. I forgot. We also need chicken stock. We're gonna just cheat and then use a, um, a chicken stock cube. All right, Lego. Ovs, forgot the onion as well. Let's grate up an onion. Mm, should be white. We're going red. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off with the salves. Yeah, it's going really well so far. In case anyone wonders, it's going really well so far. <laughs> I'm also crying. 
Tablespoons of oil. Ay, ay, ay. Uno y dos. Ole. Aceitito para el body. This is where the sauce is going to be created. The onion looks like it's just been massacred, completely massacred, but that's grated onion. Then we need to grate some garlic, ginger, and an apple. I've just jumped on the old interweb. I don't really know why I was looking at Gok One's recipe when like Welcome Mamas has released the actual recipe. And the thing is, it's pretty much the same, just that the onion is not grated, it's diced. So we could have just saved that whole malarkey of grating and just, just gone with the actual recipe. The grated element in the pan it goes. Wow. <laughs> I hate grating because I feel like most of it just gets stuck in there. Yeah, that's the ginger, garlic, and onion. It smells delightful already, I'm not gonna lie. Although, can you ever go wrong with garlic? You can't. Well, unless you like, want a boyfriend. Ginger. <laughs> mm. I mean, Gok said it was good. Mm. Do we trust Gok? If you want a little bit of a story time, I actually met Gok in the ITV studio. Yes, I did. Who wants to guess why I was at the ITV studio? Comment down below why I was at ITV. And I'll tell you at some point. <laughs> this is just extra games. Yeah, this bit scares me. There we go. Carrot grated. I feel like it's such a measly little bit of carrot. Okay, we got the turmeric going in. <coughs> okay, then we need some curry powder. Why does it say do that? Yeah, okay. Such a cute little thing. Why am I so fascinated by this chicken stock cube? I really don't know. Kind of looking like weird thing, but I have faith. Next, we're going in with the apple. That's an extra, by the way. That's just what Bob uses. Here's the chicken stock. Put a little bit in and and see what happens. I, I mean, at this point I'm kind of worried, but it is already looking better. <laughs> Improvisation, by the way. No coconut milk, so instead <laughs> coconut cream. Just pretend at this point, guys, that this is coconut milk. <laughs> Jokes aside, this is starting to give me katsu curry vibes, like starting. Coconutty. It's smelling good. It is smelling good. Right now it's kind of looking like a little pude. So I'm getting puré de verduras vibes. Next is like sugar or honey. I don't even like honey, but just a guess, but like, okay. And then some soy sauce. The angles on this video are awful. Um, just gonna like. Oh, okay, katsu curry vibes are coming through. Wagamamas. I just got carried away by the colour. <laughs> 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 
be right back just gonna clean that absolute mess of a hob and in the meantime i just want to shout out the sponsor of this video squarespace is the all-in-one platform used to build an online presence and essentially run your own business don't you worry even though it looks intimidatingly professional squarespace literally is the easiest thing to use they have templates to get you started all the editing tools even tweak your images within the platform side note let's just pretend that my katsu curry is currently looking like that one off the internet okay thanks it's also super easy to preview how your platform is looking between devices social features that make it super easy to pull in any content from your social accounts for instance embedding a youtube video or hyperlinking it so you can head over to squarespace.com for a two-week free trial and then forward slash nutty foodie fitness that will save you 10 percent off your first purchase what she said now the crucial part a bit of a taste test is in order that's the key when you're cooking okay you gotta taste you gotta taste as you go so got some sauce this is now when i burn myself and then i don't enjoy the actual experience of the katsu curry when it's done that's good <laughs> maybe it needs a tiny bit more um Honey for sweetness. Okay, I'm gonna put about that much more of honey. I'm gonna taste test again. Is that a lot of ginger? People have ginger shots. Health and fitness. It's a party! This is good! <laughs> this is a moment in the video where Steph's like, damn! That's good. Who even needs burger mamas? Just a tinch more of soy sauce because now I think I'm like a master chef pro and I'm like a tad more just like Literally, there yeah, we go That's fabulous The sauce is like it's like katsu sauce like no Steph you are making a katsu curry <laughs> what, what did you expect? But like this is very legit <laughs> Okay, we've officially nailed it and the apple has like disintegrated so there's no need to like blend yeah yeah this is good by the way i've actually never had a white egg in london how bizarre is that i have them in spain it's a spanish thing but little did like a spanish range and so i'm i'm here for that okay this is the chicken station absolute meh absolute meh puts flour back in nothing to see here the chicken, add some flour, brown it a little bit, and then back in the egg, and then the bread crumbs. The floured up chickens. Got the bread crumbs. I have no idea why the opening of this is is like that. Like, what is that? Like, what? Like, what is that? Egg at the ready. Chicken at the ready. Okay. Mhm. Mm Guys, I'm doing this all with one hand. I had one big chunky piece of chicken, so anyway, I'm going to repeat with the other two now. I guess you don't need to really see the rice action, but just some rice. Okay, like, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm already thinking this is looking good. This is just for the goldenness. Then it's going in the oven to just like fully cook and obviously these are really big pieces of chicken so it's going to take a hot minute, like more than a minute, <laughs> if you don't understand. It's going to take more than a minute for it to cook but just getting that kind of golden action. Am I master chef enough? There we go. I feel like a true chef. Got the chicken there, got the sauce there on the side. It's all going off. Got a bit of my, got the rice going on. It's all kicking off. <laughs> yeah, might as well because I mean these are fat. <laughs> Chicken's ready to go in the oven. Cook away my little precious rice. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh my god, I can't even lift this. I don't even know how many kilos of rice we've got there. Got the katsu sauce now. Woo -wee. This is how the chicken is looking currently. Yeah, it's looking good. This is how I'm doing supposedly the side salad. And then, 
Okay, wait for this. I have no clue if this is actually gonna work, but I've just put some <laughs> of the rice in this ramekin. I'm obviously gonna have about seven times more <laughs> rice than this, but I just wanna see if this works because Welcome Mamas always serves it in like a round thing. Oh my God, it actually worked. It actually worked. Fabulous. This is actually gonna be a success. I'm actually quite shocked as to how well this is going i mean at this point do let me know what other things you want me to recreate what other like takeouts because guys so this is what we have so far when welcome mama serves the chicken katsu though it's cut and i'm kind of scared that when i cut it i'm gonna ruin it but i'm gonna go ahead and try see if i can recreate that I'm scared i'm gonna ruin this Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ruin it. I just couldn't brave it. <laughs> so that's what we have. It's the sauce time. This is so wagga mama's. Like this is the colour, isn't it? Mm. Alright, the moment of truth, I'm gonna just now put the sauce. Ooh. And there we have it. Wagamama's chicken katsu curry ala ala nutty. I'm gonna just do a quick taste test, but obviously I've already tasted the sauce and it tastes legit. We're going in for a taste test, but personally I think that this looks like Wagamama's. Comment down below if you think, you know, this is a good Recreation. Gonna just go in. Where do I put this camera? Ah. Alright, we're going in, we're going in, we're going in. Cheers. I can't believe it. <laughs> it tastes exactly like it. Oh my god, it tastes exactly like it. Like it tastes exactly, 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 exactly. Wow, <laughs> so much like it. Clavadito. Mm. I didn't give it a rating. 14.5 out of 10. They think he's moving too fast. It is not a great look. Sure, I'm gonna have dessert, but I'm gonna give you an outro now. So let's go back to a Steph doing an outro with better lighting because I thought about these things. I thought about these things. Hello, hi. And just like that, we are back in my room. I really do hope that you enjoyed cooking with Nutty Foodie Fitness. If so, please smash the thumbs up button. Thank you again for always supporting. And by the way, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below of the recipe so you can also go ahead and recreate that chicken katsu curry um what else uh subscribe <laughs> like the video and do let me know in the comments below if you have any other restaurant recreation recommendations that was a bit of a mouthful i feel like it would just be a lot of fun you know get a bit more cooking action involved thanks a lot for watching guys and stay nutty my friends boom how do you even take that long doing this outro? I'm becoming an absolute master. Okay, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh my god. Where is it? I can see it there. Seriously. <laughs>
wait, why did you go like that? The camera's pointing at me. Um. <laughs> the ice creams that you bought, Kuro, were they big or they little? For. I'm telling you now, filming and cooking is is a skill. Is a skill. You're not going to be seeing my face anymore. 